What up YouTube? This is Steven and welcome back. In this video I want to talk about something that may seem a little bit odd when you first hear it. But perhaps if you think about it a little bit more you may end up thinking uh, like hmm you know I never really thought about that but you might have a point. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I want to talk about today is particularly dark-skinned men who don't claim or have an issue claiming their light-skinned sons, all right? And I kind of see this more so on like television where some where it's like a black man, dark-skinned black dude, and he's having like, kind of like say on Maury or something, you know, when they're having like fraternity, fraternity tests, right? It's like, oh no, this child isn't mine. He's too light to be my child, right? Meanwhile, you done had your child with, in one case, with like a white woman, right? And talking about your child's too light, right? Um, also, when they have their children with lighter skin, like light skin or biracial black women, and the child comes, the light skinned son, usually the son, comes out lighter, you know, and they don't want to claim the son. Usually when it comes to the daughters, for some reason, they want to claim their daughters. So they want to have a light-skinned daughter and a light-skinned uh, wife or baby mama, too. Um, for some reason, they don't want to claim their sons, for some reason. <clears throat> and of course, of course, this is not all dark-skinned black men. Of course not. There are plenty of dark-skinned black men who have light-skinned sons are sons that are lighter than them at least and they do claim them and they're you know they are in their lives you know so I don't want it I mean you know, I don't want this video and what I'm saying to come off this is I'm just you know having like a total blanket statement and just saying all dark-skinned men do this because they don't but it's just something that I noticed and just something that I kind of wanted to just put out there and just see what you guys think about that right <clears throat> But yeah, it'd be tripping me out, and I'm just like, really? Really? Like, what you thought your child was going to come out like? I guess because they'd be like, oh, I'm just so black, and my child going to come out black as me, no matter who I have a child with, right? Because you know these black dudes, especially the black dudes, these dark-skinned black dudes, be thinking that, you know, their genetics are just so strong, you know, their genes are just so strong that, you know, they can just have a child that comes out and looks just like them. Right, no matter who they have the child with, white woman, Asian woman, Latina, Middle Eastern, biracial black woman, it's like it's just gonna come out black, <laughs> you know, black as night. When we know that ain't true, right? If you want, if you are a dark skinned man and you want a child that is, you know, your skin tone or darker, you're gonna have to most likely get with a dark skinned woman with your skin tone are darker, right? Of course it does happen when, you know, a light skinned and dark skinned person get together and they have a, a dark skinned child and a light skinned and dark skinned person get together and they have a light skinned child. Those, of course we know those things happen, but the best chances you have if you really want that, right? If you are really just so um, gun ho about having a child that looks exactly like you, Perhaps you need to get with someone who has the features that are exactly, are very similar to your features. That would make the most sense, right? Since you're so hung up on the color of your sons, right? Versus the color of your daughters, right? With the daughters, you know, the light-skinned women, they just get the welcome mat. <laughs> they, they get the, this the red carpet welcome mat rolled out for them, and they have the dark skinned dudes pulling them in, right? Telling them that you, you know, you a black queen, you know, you part black, you all black, you know. Come back to the blackness, you know. Get yourself a black, get with a black king like me. <laughs> right. And, you know, I don't think it's anything like wrong with wanting to get with other folks, you know, as long as they're black people, right? But if you can't handle the product of that situation, if you got a problem with the, the potential product of that situation, then I don't think you need to be having children with this person. Right? I don't think you should be having children. 
you should just keep it to you know doing what you guys do but just make sure that nobody ends up pregnant right <clears throat> because if you can't handle the product then what's that dynamic gonna be like if you don't like your light skin sun that's kinda messed up keep it real that's kinda messed up and I think partially that might be why like some black fathers when it comes to their mixed race children are kinda like a bit absent from their life because may may not feel like a connection because they don't look like them right um, you know <laughs> and also I do like sometimes when I'm like in the store on occasion I'll see like you know a darker skinned man with like a lighter skinned child especially like a lighter skinned son and I do kinda wonder like how do they feel about that? I guess they're with the child, so I'm guessing they don't have an issue with it as far as like skin tone. I'm like, you know, do they feel like, you know, that's their son, that's their seed, you know, that the phenotype of the son reflects him, like they can see themselves in their sons? Because sometimes they might not be able to see themselves in their son, they may have an issue with that, right? <clears throat> but you know let's flip it around for a second just for a second let's say if like a light-skinned dude has a dark-skinned son right which I don't really see a lot for some reason I don't know why it's either like maybe it's just like light-skinned dudes can't have dark-skinned sons or either it's just um, they just tend to gravitate towards another direction um, but I will say like uh, my cousin um, like both of the children, both of the mothers of his children are like um, really dark skinned women, but both his son and his daughter came out like really light skinned. <laughs> they both came out like like light bright. <laughs> and that happens too. And also my um other cousin who's a female, she's had her children with like you know a brown skin dude and like I'm looking at her son especially I'm like his the son kind of looks mixed <laughs> like like directly mixed and in fact when I it was like a situation sidebar right quick but situation like um my cousin who's a male like his ba his wife at this point now his wife um came in with their daughter and for some reason I didn't put two and two together, but I'm like, oh, who's just, um, you know, this dark-skinned woman with this biracial child? And I was kind of like looking for, well, you know, where's her baby daddy? I'm looking for a white dude, right? Because I didn't know that that was my cousin's child. <laughs> um, so I'm like, oh, you know, you know, where your baby daddy at? <laughs> or your husband at? You know, your white husband or baby daddy at? And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I thought the child was biracial. <laughs> um... Yeah, quick sidebar, right? <clears throat> but I guess let's bring it back to topic. Um, you know, I, I shouldn't be too much longer. <clears throat> yeah, I just like if a light-skinned dude has a dark-skinned child. I wonder how that goes down. I guess me personally, like if I had a dark-skinned child, like a dark-skinned son, especially, I'll be like, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I really would. I really. For some reason, like, oh wow, well, maybe because like maybe like it's gonna sound kind of crazy, but maybe like, oh, I kind of want it. You can kind of like, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that. It might come off as a bit strange if I say that, but kind of like you know how your children are an extension of you, and sometimes you want your children to do things that you may have wanted to do or you wish you could do. Maybe like that, like um, on some level, like I want like maybe like a really, really, really like dark skin um, son, especially since I would probably perhaps be living through my son, especially. Right. Um, so, yeah, for me, I think I would think that would be pretty cool, but I don't think that's in the cards for me, but it could happen. It could happen, but I just don't. For some reason, I don't think that's in the cards for me. I think that my kids, if I do have kids, are probably going to come out like my cousin's kids, no matter who. Like, if I have a kid with a black woman, especially a dark-skinned black woman, I feel like they're going to come out more or less either my skin tone or like a peanut butter skin tone, right? <laughs> you know? 
And if I had, like, say, um, a child with, like, a white woman, which I don't plan on, but who knows what's happening in the future. Like, I feel like the child would come out, like, white passing. Then I would feel like, hmm, you know, I would probably want to bring my child into the community, but as I made that video before, I don't think I should be, you know, I can't be a hypocrite and be trying to have, bring my child into community talking about my child is black and they coming out white, right? Um, yeah. But I guess, you know, I've said all I have to say. So this video's on the short side, you know. Um, so thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, subscribe, thumbs up. Your feedback and support extremely appreciated and extremely valued. Into the next video, adios and goodbye.